My name is Reem and I'm a longtime member of the Arab Resource and Organ Organizing Center and I'm also a chef and owner of a street corner bakery right here in San Francisco that is unapologetically Palestinian. We know that for 75 years Israel has weaponized food, tried to sever us from our culture and our history, and break our spirit, erasing us by appropriating our fools and calling them Israeli. This erasure carries here in the States where Israeli chefs don't just get to profit off of our cuisine, but they strip us of our humanity so that Americans can easily look away when they see Palestinian death on their TVs. But I'm here to say, Hamas is Palestinian! I am the granddaughter of generations of citrus growers and traders from Yaffa and Gaza. Yeah. And, yes. Woo. Sh shout it out. Hey. Hey. We live the trauma. I live the trauma of my great uncle watching his farmers being shot point blank when Zionist militia took over his farm in 1948. Oh. I understand that in my bones that stealing our land means going after our food waste, because it's the very thing that connects us to our land. And so make no mistake, our foods hold stories of our history, both joyful and painful, and keep us connected. And I'm a part of generation of folks, Palestinians, who are proud, despite the repression that they face. This is a coordinated attack to repress us, keep us silent, with the aid of U.S. government and corporations to convince Israel that it's normal. Oh. 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 And they're mortified because we are winning. Palestinians are all over now. In, yes, we are part of the cultural fabric of, this US, of the U.S. Our foods are displayed. Our culture is in the spotlight. Our Palestinian will to live is greater than their desire to annihilate us. Yeah. We will always fight back. When they try to raise our olive trees, we grow new ones. When they try to outlaw, outlaw us from forging our own zatar, we defy them. And when they kick us off our lands, we save our seed and grow it in diaspora. These are simple acts in the face of our oppressor. There are brave acts of resistance. Their psychological warfare is cruel and unforgiving, but they continue to make it loud and clear, we continue to make it loud and clear, that you will not erase us. 